And we're back, hopefully. I think I fixed the problem. Fingers crossed anyway. I just had to take off a few mods. Uh, there was a grass one I was using and a lighting effects enhancer, which wasn't all that enhancing. So I got rid of those and I went through here again and I didn't crash. So hopefully we don't crash this time either. Let's see. I can actually see where I'm going now, so that's cool. Take this lady out again. Oh, paralyzed! And dead. Takes care of that. Get rid of these death hounds. Missed. What? Just happened there. That was pretty weird. That dude just went flying. Didn't even die. I thought there was another one down here. All sneaky like. Hello. Shoot him in the butt. Where'd you come from? Yep. Poor fella. Good money, though. The more you fight, the more oh. you will suffer for them. I will resist you, monster. I must. How much longer can you keep this up, Mark Priest? Your mind was strong, but you're exhausted. You can resist. I can feel your defenses crumbling. You want it to end. You want to give in to me. Now, acknowledge me as your master. Yes, master. No, I'm not the master. Take out this peon. No, no one's there. Go back to bed. Go back to your little sinister vampy bullshit. That's a orc vampire. What the hell? Who's there? Was wearing Thalmor shit. That ain't. That's pretty weird. Oh, that's not Thalmor shit. That's other shit. Has Malchus got any good things? Some of my arrows. A letter from Sarana's dad. And this shiny rock. We will take this shiny rock. Let's 
Let's see what Serana's dad has to say. Letter from Harkin. The prophesied time has come. I have reclaimed one of my last Elder Scrolls that's not yours, you sparkly bitch. And now I must have a Moth Priest to read it. For the one who brings me a Moth Priest, I promise a high place in my court and the gift of my potent blood. <coughs> Go forth and find me a Moth Priest. This is my command, Lord Harkin. Get wrecked, Lord Harkin. Uh... Sarana, control your zombie. Uh, there's the moth priest in there. Oh, nope. Go uh, up here. Uh, and little vampy beds. Oh, that's what the shiny rock is for. But my master is dead, and his enemies will pay. Now we have Who's to there? fight this moth priest. D mind wash him. the divines for you. Uh, you all right? Uh, I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claimed they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. Fools? I know why they needed you, though. Because we need you for the same purpose. You do? All right yep. then. Enough mysteries. I'll explain later, though. Right now we need your help, and time is short. Well, you saved me from those vampires. I suppose the least that I can do is hear you out. You can find us at Fort Dawnguard, near Stendar's Beacon. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. Sounds good. Can I take the shiny rock back? I like shiny rocks. I cannot take the shiny rock back. Damn. That's okay. Well, that didn't hurt. Big ass cave. Come on, you two. Oh, dears. Yeah, I guess we're just heading back to 
Fort Dawnguard along with the moth guy. Yes. I don't want to be a vampire lord. Knock, knock. I gotta go to bed soon, dude. I just had to fix the things. This run. What is that shiny thing? <laughs> I'm impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. Yeah, me too. Has it got the scroll? Everything ready? For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. Hi. What is I that? I knew it would come to this one day. Shh, shh, I shh. knew. You don't and see no one anything. Believed. He's right. Just want to see what that shiny thing is. Hammer of light. Yeah, I can't steal that though. It's a shame, it's pretty. But I don't want to kill that guy. We like that guy. My trip to Skyrim has become quite the adventure. I guess so. Glad to hear made it safely. Glad you hear made it safely. Glad you made it here safely. Ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. Well, thanks. My companion's been nice. It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. Well, that's good. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. You ready to read? Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. Everybody shut I up. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise in an age of strife. When dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be one. Adam, please. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. Enemy goes the secret please. of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. Do you have a moment to talk? Yeah, what's up? Do you have a moment to talk? What's on your mind? That moth priest, Dexie. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Why didn't you say something earlier? Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't Fair exactly point. make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father. That's saying something. Oof. Do you trust that guy at all? It's not a question of trust. He's just obsessed with the prophecy. And from what I could tell, a thousand extra years of obsession haven't made him any better. I should have found him a hobby. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. Well, that's a shame. So where's this Elder Scroll you're thinking about? 
We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll oh. definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. You said you didn't know where she was. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Sounds like she was being cautious. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? We should get you cured of that illness. Sailed away like you were? I don't think so. She said she wanted to stay awake in case the situation was resolved. Mm. It had to be one of us. I mean, well, she's so much more powerful than I am. It just made sense for her to be out here. Anything else? Hiding with the Dawn Guard? They'd That'd be, be weird. even less welcoming to her than they've been to me. It would have been a bloodbath. And since the Dawn Guard is still around, that must not have happened. Any other ideas? In your island castle? Wait, that almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too peaceful. Hmm. Ain't that pretty risky, staying around there? Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. They're not gonna let us in that front door again. True, but I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. Alright, let's get to it then. It's around the side of the castle. Let's move. Yes? What did you need? Back to the castle then. Fantastic. I never sold this scroll to Urag Grow Shrub. Saying that at all. We're gonna do that later. Figure it out later. Alright. Let's go to the castle on the island that is not tropical. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Quit whining about the weather. All sarcastic over there. Castle Okay. Yes. Doug. Yes. What did you need? So the northern side of the island. So this way. Yeah, just around this bend. Some damn gargoyles. They're not supposed to be here. What the hell? Ooh.
wasn't letting me shoot there for a second. It was kind of weird. This armor is cool. Thank you. Naked. Sorry. Doesn't look so big from down here. I mean, it is big, but well, even bigger. Yeah, it does actually. enough I'll just do I have all that stuff I don't know I'm gonna take it just in case I like collecting different armor sets for my museum A skeleton. Go get that skeleton. Bitch. It's a strong skeleton. Get that guy. Yes, what did you need? Watch out. Who's there? indoors or in a cave anywhere just out of this sneaky 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 I hate it when she conjures the skeleton zombies, because it's hard to tell. You can hear them, but you can't tell if it's one of hers or just one that's about to bite you. Is there anything over here? Nope. I'm no fan of the sun. Be better than this. Ooh, it's a big old rat. Be dead. Now it's a dead rat. Oh. 
as hams. There we go. The old water cistern. On some days, this would smell just... You'd be glad you weren't here then. Mm. I can imagine. Poor dogs. Activate this lever, which drops that thing, so we can go that way. Hmm. Take a left up here. This is one of those weird double-barred security measures that my father put in when he got more paranoid. If we follow that path around, we can find the other switch. Good to know. Ooh, spikies. Don't touch the spikies. Sir, don't touch the spikies! Y'all don't listen very well. Doggy. Oh, two bad doggies. <gasps> Shit. Three bad doggies. <gasps> uh, don't drop your bones on me, you gross ass pigs. Disgusting. Your relatives are rude as hell, Serana. Just want yes? you to know. What did you need? I'm telling you how rude your relatives are. Fucking messy. Look at that shit. What the hell is that? gonna be a spider in here. It's a big one.
right in the mouth. Don't need that, but I do need that. Thank you very much. Watch out. Go past the spikies again. Oh. Don't know if I did that or they did that. They did that one. Skeleton in here. Where are you at, you little bugger? There you are. Keeper just offed itself. Going up. This leads out to the courtyard. Just head for the door. All right. Well, this place is nice. What happened to this place? Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks, well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. Still kind of pretty, this though. Used to lead into the castle's great hall. Looks like my father had it sealed up. I used to walk through here after evening meals. It was beautiful once. This was my mother's garden. Do you has know a how shiny thing. Something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years. She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. What? What are we waiting for? Something's wrong with the moon dial here. Some of the crests are missing and the dial is askew. They didn't even know the crests could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. Well, it's missing pieces. And I saw one of them. There's one. I believe there was three. Yeah, there's another. One more. There we are. Wow. A secret Very passage. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. All right. I don't 
Okay, well actually, I think I'm going to pause it here. Save. There we go. And in the next one, we'll go find Serana's mom. We'll see you later. <laughs>